Hey everyone, this is Niru here from Niru's Calligraphy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do iPad calligraphy. But before we get into the video, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to Niru's Calligraphy and hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. So let's get started. So iPad calligraphy comes under digital calligraphy. Pen and paper is a different type and digital calligraphy is a separate type. For iPad calligraphy, you'll need an iPad and an Apple Pencil. But not all iPads are compatible with the Apple Pencil. Only some are. So you got to use the one that is compatible for digital calligraphy. This is important because the Apple Pencil has pressure sensitivity. So you can get thick strokes and thin strokes using pressure differences. So the app that we're going to use for iPad calligraphy is Procreate. It comes with 700 rupees, but a one-time payment valid for lifetime. So once you get into the app, you get the canvas area. So this is one canvas. So if I want to create a new canvas, I click on plus and I can select the size. I'm going to select screen size. Okay, so now our canvas is ready. Now I'm going to teach you some basic settings. Here we have the brush. If I select the brush, there are multiple brushes inside Procreate itself. And these are brush topics. For example, sketching, inking, drawing, painting, artistic and calligraphy. And inside every topic, there are multiple brushes. So if I click on this calligraphy topic, there are some brushes over here. In these, my favorite brush is the brush pen. This brush pen is very similar to the Agile and Camlin that we use. So you can get thick and thin strokes using this. So now we've selected the brush. Next, I'm going to select the brush size. Right now, the size is 14. We can either increase it or decrease it. I'm keeping a medium size brush. Now what's the rule in calligraphy? All the upstrokes have to be thin and all the downstrokes have to be thick. If you're not sure about this rule, I'll give some links in the description. I've already made some tutorials for for calligraphy and brush calligraphy. You'll get a better understanding if you watch them. But basically, the upstrokes have to be thin and downstrokes have to be thick. So in digital calligraphy, whenever you're doing the upstrokes, you have to apply very less pressure. So without too much pressure, you'll get a thin stroke. In the same way, when you bring a downstroke, if you press and bring it down, you'll get a thick stroke. So keep this in mind, whenever you're doing the upstroke, you should apply very less pressure. And whenever you're doing the downstroke, you have to press really well and bring it down. So this is the basic rule. And I've already mentioned that whenever you're doing calligraphy, there has to be guidelines. So in Procreate, if you go into settings, there's something called the drawing guide. If you switch that on, you'll get some guidelines. So this saves a lot of time. So after I've done my calligraphy, if I want to erase something, I can choose the Erase tool. Again, I can select the size and I can erase. So this is the main benefit of digital calligraphy. If you make any mistakes, you can erase it easily. So now let's write a word. If I don't want black and I want to choose a different color, I can click on this black and we'll get a color wheel. So using this color wheel, you can choose colors. There are thousands of colors, so you can play around with it. For now, I'm going to go with black. Now while doing this, if I don't like the stroke, I have to take two fingers and press it once and it will undo. Now I'll complete this word. So now my word is complete. If I want to add a shadow for this word, there's a very simple method. So what's a shadow? Basically, you see the same word again below it, but a little transparent. That is a shadow. So now if I click on this, it'll show me the layers. Now we have a layer in which we wrote. Now we just have to duplicate this layer. So I swipe left and I press duplicate. Now we've got two layers. So here we actually have two layers. One is the layer that we wrote and the second is the duplicated one. Just above it. So keep this in mind. Now I'm going to select the bottom layer and I'm going to press on this cursor and I'm going to slightly move the layer a little to the bottom right. So now I've moved the bottom layer. Now like I said, for shadow, the layer has to be a little transparent. So again, I'm going to layers. We've got to click on the end 
and we have to reduce the opacity the lesser the opacity the more transparent your word will be and more the opacity just the opposite so remember if you reduce the opacity your word will become transparent let's reduce the opacity our shadow layer has been formed so now i'm going to just darken it a little bit so that you can see it clearly so again pressing in and slightly increasing the opacity i'm sure you can see it clearly right now so now we've got a word that we wrote first and we have a shadow below it so this is how you can add shadows in digital calligraphy if you take four fingers and click on the screen all the tools disappear and we can see just our artwork now i'll show you some brush options first i showed you the brush pen Next let's try the chalk. Adding color to the background is very easy. Our color is already selected. I just have to drag it and drop it and our color is added. So now in this we're going to select the white color. Add a new layer. And we get a realistic chalkboard effect. So now I'll show you a final word. I'm going to use a different brush right now. We'll use the brush called Odeon. So color, let's take a red. So this word is dedicated to all of you. Would like to thank you all so much for all the love and support that you have given me on this channel. So if you like this tutorial, do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to Neeru's Calligraphy and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on the next tutorial when it comes out. Until then, signing off this Neeru from Neeru's Calligraphy. Bye.